welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Mike. I am a full-time book reseller. So I go into thrift stores. I use Craigslist, Facebook, anywhere I can get books for a low cost or for free. I go in there. I scan the books. I see what's worth money. I send it into Amazon or I list it on eBay and the rest is history. So today is a one-stop shop, drop, flop, crop, top video. The purpose of these videos, it's for people that do this full time or don't have enough time in the day to devote themselves going to, you know, four or five thrift stores. So we are outside a Salvation Army. I have never taken you to before. I have been here before, probably about a year ago, maybe when I first started selling books with Deb, I brought her along and I remember we didn't find much in here, maybe like probably like five or six books. It's half off day, which is good. So the book should be 50 cents and 99 cents unless they raise the prices. We are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania again. This Salvation Army, it's um, if I remember it correctly, the prices are pretty high on stuff besides books. So it wouldn't surprise me if they raise the price of their books. So purpose of this video, you got 30 minutes, one thrift store, you get in and out of there as quick as you can, see how much you can make. I'm gonna record me in there scanning, hopefully. I'm gonna record me no matter what, I don't even care. But um, you'll see my Scout IQ screen, that's just a phone app. If it's green, I take it. If it's red, I leave it. There is no hard knowledge, just looking up comps, none of that crazy stuff when it comes to selling books on Amazon. So let me get in here, start scanning. It looks pretty dead for being half off day. So we'll see what's going on inside this place. All right, we made it out of that Salvation Army. We got a bag of stuff and I got some things that aren't books to sell on Amazon. So we got a whole bag. We're gonna have to do the wrap up at home. It'll make our lives easier. I will see you guys when we get home. Here's a little sneak peek. All right, we have made it back home. It has been a few days, but I need to get these books out this weekend. So 
we're going to run through here. We spent $16 and we got 17 items. I say items because they're not all books. So let's get right on into it. It was half price day. So the prices you see on these are half of what it actually costs, which was a good thing. So before we get into anything crazy, we got some video games. So most people are ungated in video games starting out. So I recommend even like these old, you'll see some of these. This is for the Wii. These consoles are pretty old. All you got to do is just scan the barcode right through Scout IQ. So when you go in to edit your trigger set, you'll see there's like a VHS, a DVD, and a video game one. Now, I'm so kind that I'm only going to charge you three easy payments of $99.99 to see my video game trigger set. Nah, it's free. I'm going to pop it up here on the screen. So I recommend you guys go in, use the same thing. Works the same way as the books. And uh, it'll kind of be self-explanatory. So we have Just Dance for the Wii. I pay $250, $12 profit. Next up, a lot of times you'll run into this. You see how like the like GameStop stickers over it? All you got to do is pop it. And then just lift up the plastic and it's easy to scan. We're rounding up or down, so this is $8. Now, one thing I always look for if I'm getting video games is you want to make sure the disc is in good condition. And then I only buy them if they have the manual. Just because I feel like if somebody's buying the game, maybe I'm old school, you always want to have the manual. Unless it's a really expensive game you're going to get a lot of money for, then you could put it as acceptable and just say, you know, it doesn't include the manual. So, 8 bucks for this old bowling game. I remember bowling on the way. It was fun. Next up, we have Band Hero. $14 profit. Now, can you guess when I used to play, like, Rock Band and Band Hero, what instrument I would play? There ain't no chance you're going to guess. I used to be the singer. You hear this beautiful voice? You get a few beers in me, and I'll sing any song that's on this whole this whole little video game here. And then the last game we got, so we got four games total, was Game Party in Motion Xbox Connect, seventeen dollars here. I only paid two bucks. So those were the four items that weren't books. Now let's get into the books. We have the Divine Nine, twenty bucks. Haunted House Murder, $4. You see it's red, so somebody came in and undercut the listing. Not worried about it. We'll put it in for what we were originally going to get. Raft of Stars, large print, $8. Always scan the large print stuff. Some of that stuff's worse. worse. Worth a lot more than the normal versions. Strangers Drowning, $4. America at War, $4. Arena, $14. Mean Girls Grown Up, $4. Good Taste, Bad Taste, and Christian Taste, $9. Chasing the Scream, $4. 151 East Court will sell right away little textbook action here intro to philosophy of history you see someone undercut this as well all the way down to eight dollars but this thing sells pretty often so by the time it gets in it should bump back up so we'll say four dollars for that as well the shoemaker and the tea party seven dollars a guide to recognizing your saints fifteen dollars and the last one we got the Way, the Catholic Living Bible, $12. So, overall, 17 items, 4 video games, 13 books. Make sure you guys set up the trigger set for the video games. It's in the same thing, so as you're scanning, you don't need to switch trigger sets. It's still going to be in your main custom trigger set. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. We spent 16 The total profit before cost was 158 so our net profit total for that Salvation Army we haven't been to in forever was $142. So that's pretty good for half hour work. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more used book videos. Bye-bye!